My name is Leela, Assistant Professor in History, Department of Sociology from Econ Development Center, Majlis Arts and Science College, Puramunur. Now we study about Montagu Chemsford Reform or Act of 1919. In order to get the support of Indians in the World War I, Montego, the Secretary of State, declared that every Indian should be increasingly associated in every branches of administration. After the war, Montego discussed the reform with Chemsford, the Viceroy. Based on this report, Mondego Chemsword Reform or Act of 1919 became practice. The important reform of the Act of 1919 was introduction of diarchy in the provinces. According to the system of diarchy, subjects are divided into two reserved subject and transferred subject. Some subjects like finance, law, and order are which called reserved subject which became under the direct control of the Governor General. Some subjects like local self-government, education, public health were called transferred subject, which remains under the direct control of the ministers responsible to the legislature. However, Governor General enjoyed extraordinary power to rule out. Another important reform was the enlarged the Provincial Legislative Council. Majority of the members of the councils were to be elected. Then, the provinces were to have unique cameral in nature. Then, the number of the members of the Legislative Councils were varied from provinces to provinces. 70% of the members of the Legislative Councils were to be elected, remaining to be nominated by the Governor. Separate constituencies were allowed to big merchants, universities and landlords. Communal constituencies were allowed to Sikh, Muslims, Christians and Anglo-Indians. The Act proposed a bicameral legislator at the center. The lower house or legislative assembly was to have 144 members of which 104 to be elected, others to be or remaining to be nominated by the Governor General. The Upper House or Legislative Councils was to have 60 members, of which 26 were to be elected, remaining to be nominated by the Governor General. Communal representation was given to both the House, Legislative Assembly and Legislative Council. Then the period of the members was for five years. The Governor General enjoyed unrestricted power. The power of the Secretary of State were reduced. There are various opinions about the reform among the nationalist leaders. Moderate considered it as a progressive in nature. Then the extremist considered it was a reactionary one. Then the intermediate group considered it as an unsatisfactory one. For the first time, Indians were appointed as a ministers. It indicates that transfer of power to the Indians. Then, Indians also get a training to the art of government. Then, it get an opportunity to influence the legislative assembly. These are the important reform of the Act of 1990 or Mondego Chemsford reform. Okay, thank you.